Hi friends, it's Carlos Hernandez, Coldwell Banker Realty, the Hernandez Group, and what an exciting time to be in real estate. Oh my gosh, I feel like pulling my hair out. This is crazy. Um, so our interest rates are staying high at this point, and I think they're going to continue to stay high for a long period of time. What is a long period of time? Uh, I think maybe second half of next year, we might start to see some relief. And, you know, Jerome Powell and the Fed have, have made a point to this, that it doesn't sound like they're going to be uh, having any relief on interest interest rates soon as we all hope for. So what that's creating is a lot of uncertainty and of course the affordability on properties certainly is weighing very heavy on buyers. Um, so as a matter of fact, the last time uh, that we saw an interest rate of 7.5, which we just recently saw, was 23 years ago, back in January. I'm sorry, January December of, of 2000. So, uh, you know, what that's creating again is just a lot of pressure on buyers and their affordability. Now, at the same time, we're not working with a whole lot of inventory, but we also do not have high demand. So as a seller, that doesn't mean that's the perfect formula for success, meaning that you can put the house out there, you know, your neighbor sold for X and you must be able to get higher than that. We're actually seeing properties that are on the market. Uh, we're seeing them sit a little bit longer. We're also seeing uh, the properties that do have healthy price reductions are the ones that are actually selling. So no longer are buyers really pushing the envelope on these properties. Granted, if it's a special unique property, uh, maybe is a property that has you know uh, a super big lot or something that you just normally don't see. Uh, of course, those buyers are going to push the envelope on that. But if it's a, a, an ordinary property, we're not starting to see the buyers really start to push the envelope on that pricing. One, because of affordability, and two, the buyer demand is a little bit lower. So um, you know that's really what's happening on our market right now. Uh, at the same time, this does not mean if you were the buyer that oh, the smart thing to do is to go ahead and wait. You know, I always say that if you're ready to purchase real estate and you can afford the payment, you have your down payment, emergency emergency fund, etc., buy the house, right? Um, but if you are thinking, gosh, well, do you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until interest rates come back down a little bit lower. Um, what I think is going to end up happening is if interest rates do come back down, let's say second half of next year, and they're somewhere in the fives, and we still have low inventory, I think that's only gonna make our prices even stronger. So um, you could always refinance out of that property. I don't think that we're gonna have interest rates stay at this level forever, right? Because that just never happens. Um, but if you could make the, afford the payment now, get into the home and perhaps refinance down the line, that's probably your better move versus waiting until interest rates come down. Uh, even if they come down somewhere in the high fives, the mid fives, and we still have low inventory, prices are going to be going up. So I would rather have a, a stronger position in terms of equity, in terms of what my monthly payment is, because I that could always change. So anyways, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, or if there's anything that I could do for you, if you have any questions about the market, please feel free to give me a call. And I look forward to exceeding your real estate expectations. Make it a great day.